I, mean, I think that uh, one of my biggest assets is my, you know, athleticism and my, you know, explosion. I think that's something I was able to, you know, show today by getting my, you know, vert up to 30 inches. Um, but uh, you know, it was, it's, it's the main thing is obviously I think that, um, like I said, athleticism and just being a guy that can be, you know, coachable and uh, be able to improve on however the, you know, coach wants me to teach me a certain way. You know, it's something that I can pick up and just go from there. So I'm excited. Talk about position. Is there a position you think you protect you going to the NFL? Uh, every team's different. Uh, there will be a team that you know might need a left guard that they'll you know work me out and only do guard drills, and then there will be a team that's looking for a left tackle, and it's the same situation. And uh, you know, just in this in this part of the process, versatility is a huge thing. I think that uh, you know playing either tackle or guard on either side is something that I'm very comfortable with and pretty uh, capable of doing. How much do you feel you've been Carson's de facto agent for the last month and a half? <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, obviously there's a lot of, you know, Carson's been uh, blowing up quite a bit lately, but uh, but it's, it's all deserved, and uh, I know that uh, we're all excited for him, and I know he's excited for all of us, and uh, it's just going to be it's gonna be fun to uh, see how everything uh, turns out. Has this experience been surreal for you at all? Has it hit you? You're interviewing with NFL football teams, and you're, you have a future in the NFL ahead of you. Yeah, no, it really, at some parts it hits you, but, like, uh, I guess probably thinking about just, you know, when you were at the combine, it was kind of like the biggest surreal moment when you finally, you know, we had all these private interviews with just, you know, you know, one-on-one -on -one with certain scouts or coaches, and then you finally get all like on the field, and, you know, you see all these, you know, legendary coaches up in the stands and all these GMs, and, uh, you know, it, it's kind of surreal. You kind of got to step back, you know, and just be, you know, be happy that you're there and thankful for everything, and uh, it's just, uh, it's been exciting. Do you feel like you've been able to enjoy the process? Yeah, no, absolutely. It's it's been a, it's been a really fun experience. Um, I, you know, I made a lot of memories, a lot of friends. You know, even at the combine, senior bowl, a lot of great guys there. Uh, and so it's, uh, it's exciting to you know kind of you know think that that's just gonna kind of continue for the next you know however many years. Thirty inches on the vertical jump was that the biggest thing you're looking for, or is there another drill that was important for you? Yeah, I mean, I redid my broad and my vert. Um, I, I I did the same in broad at nine feet three inches. Um, I was kind of hoping I th I'd been testing a little bit more. Um, I was hoping to get another inch or two on the broad, but uh, for the vert, you know, I knew I could have done a lot better, uh, so I got that up to tw uh, 30 inches. So I was pretty happy with that. What was it before? 28 or seven and a half, somewhere in there, 27 and a half, I think. Ton of current buys and obviously on that field with you guys. Mm -hmm. What are they saying to you when they see this kind of thing? <sighs> I mean, I just remember, you know, these years past where I was those guys and. Uh, you know, they're always, they're so supportive of us. You know, it's, it was great to, you know, they brought a great atmosphere, you know, cheering us on as we did our drills. And it was, uh, it was nice. And I know, I know that a lot of those guys have the same dreams that we do. And, uh, you know, at, the, at this program, I wouldn't put, you know, any of it below them. What's now between now and draft weekend for you? Uh, we got, got quite a few, uh, you know, workouts planned with, you know, private workouts with teams. Um, so we're going to be going through that, just stay conditioned, uh, continue to, you know, uh, just, you know, work on becoming a professional. I mean, the, the transition is huge from college to, you know, NFL level, and a lot of it goes from, you know, have to worry about student, but now you can actually fully focus on everything, you know, your diet, how you, you know, act off the field, it's just everything, it just comes together, and I think that's something that uh, it's important, because you, you have to, you know, treat yourself like a professional when you, when you get in this process. How much is the, the, just the level come up, like being an FCS player making the jump as, you know, composer at FBS, FBS, does that come up in interviews or just uh, You know, for offensive line, I don't think it's as big of a deal just for the fact that it's, um, it's so much technique based and technique is such a huge deal with offensive linemen. Because um, you can have, you know, you have these guys that are super strong, super fast, but they have no technique, you know, it's, it's not, they're not going to be able to use it. Uh, so I think that's something that I've been able to show just my, you know, technique and uh, being able to modify it as I go through the season. Um, and I think that uh, it really hasn't been too big of a deal for me. How do you think Carson's handling all of it? As Carson would, amazing. I don't know. He's, uh, he can't do anything wrong apparently. So, uh, no, it's, it's been awesome. Uh, he's done a great job. Uh, he's fitting into the role perfectly and I'm excited to, you know, see where he, uh, where he ends up. National media attention, you know, that Carson brings as composed of, as compared to maybe other past parties. Do you think that kind of helps guys like you, maybe guys like CJ Smith, kind of get more looks? Yeah, no, it's definitely. I mean, a lot of these guys that um, weren't able to go to the combine, this is this is their day. You know, and I think that it was huge to have so many people here and see, you know, what what talent we have in North Dakota State. And I think there's a lot of great guys out there that should definitely get a shot, and I think that uh, they showed that today.